thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss three-dimensional geometry. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with friends. The diagram below represents a cuboid, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, in which F, G equals to 4.5 centimeters, G, H, 8 centimeters, and H, C equals to 6 centimeters, just as indicated on the diagram. Calculate the length F, C. According to this diagram, the length FC is actually an internal dimension such that uh, if we follow the triangle FH, that is through the base of, then FHC, we consider that one as a triangle. Now FC becomes a, a diagonal or becomes an hypotenuse, sorry. Yes, so FC is an hypotenuse now for such a triangle. So that means the first thing we should obtain is the diagonal for triangle FGH, and that becomes our FH. So FH, using Pythagoras theorem, will be gotten by the square root of 4.5 squared, then plus GH, which is 8 squared. So when we carry out this, we will get FH. So 4.5 squared plus 8 squared. Then we take the square root. This becomes 9.18. 9.18 centimeters. Therefore, the length FH is 9.18 centimeters. So what we should know is that uh, now for the triangle FHC, we are having this height and FH has become a base. So to calculate the hypotenuse now, we need to take, uh, we need to take now, that is our FC now, we need to take 9.18, we square, then we add 6 also squared, and we obtain square root. That is according to the Pythagoras theorem because the triangle is right angled at this point. Therefore, now we can talk of when we square this, then we add 6 squared. Now we obtain square root. This becomes 10.97. 10.97 centimeters. So that is the length of FH. The next thing is. To calculate is uh, the size of the angle between lines FC and FH. FC, the length we have calculated, and FH, the base here. So the angle between them is the angle at this point. Remember, we are having the three sides for the triangle FHC. We are having all the sides or all the lengths. So for us to get the angle there, we can use the trigonometric ratio of our choice. I can choose to apply a tangent, whereby I will say the turn of the angle there, the turn of the angle is equivalent to the opposite length, which is 6, divided by the adjacent length, which is 9.18. That means for us to get theta, we need to use the turn inverse of 6 out of 9.18 so this angle can now be calculated using a calculator when i take uh, the turn inverse that is shift turn of 6 divided by 9.18 this is giving me exactly 33.17 33.17 degrees so that is the angle the next question is on the size of the angle between line AB and FH. AB and FH. AB and FH. These are lines which are not uh, which are not on the same plane. So what we do, we translate one line to the plane that contains the other. AB and FH means we can translate line AB 
to the plane which contains FH. That means we can translate AB to the base whereby AB becomes FG when translated. That is when it is moved without changing its size directly until it fits in on the plane containing the other line. Therefore, now AB has been translated to this point. And now we have the line FH, now the angle between the two now, because AB becomes FG. So now the angle between them, according to the base rectangle, we can use uh, we can use 4.5 and 8, because at this point we have a right angle. So it means I'm going to use, I'm going to use again the tangent of the angle there. So the term of the angle there is going to be given by its opposite length, 8, divided by the adjacent length, 4.5. This means for me to get theta now, I need to take the tan inverse of 8 divided by 4.5. So this is going to be when I take the shift tan of 8 divided by 4.5. This is going to be 60.64. So I hope we are together on the translation of that line AB to the plane which contains FH. Otherwise, the line FH can also be translated to the plane which contains AB and it could have become AC. So we could still have gotten the same which could have been now this angle, our FH becoming AC, so that now they are on the same plane with AB. So we can do either, we can translate any of the lines so that it goes to the plane containing the other line. We are also to calculate the size of the angle between AB, ABHE and FGHE. ABHE, that is at the plane running through this point plane uh, running through this point that is the plane and now the base fg h e so we are having two planes like this let me let me show you the kind of planes now we are having we use some space here so we are having a plane Then now another one, another plane, which is a, at a given angle to this one. A line which is a, another plane, which is at a, at a given angle. So the planes are F, G, H, E. F, G, H, E. Then we are having a, a B. H E A B H E. So these two planes are meeting at line H E. So what we do for two planes which are meeting at a common line, we usually draw a line through one plane perpendicular to the line of intersection. The line of intersection in this case is H E. So if we draw through this plane a line like that, then through the other plane also a line perpendicular to the same point. Now you discover there is an angle being created there. There's an angle being created there. So now the size of such an angle now becomes the desired angle. Therefore, using a, the measurements that we have here, we can uh, consider, we can now create a line from uh, this point. Let me, let me, clear so that I may use a, a clearer diagram. Yes, now we can talk about uh, through the this plane, we draw a line perpendicular to HE, then through this plane, which is now ABHE, we also draw another line because the plane is here. We draw a line again through this one, such that it cuts the first 
line so that now they are making an angle. Therefore, the angle there can be calculated using assuming the point here is x and the point at the top here is y. Now we are having a right angled triangle whereby this is x, this is y, this is a point like t. So t is here now. Whereby we can drop a line like that. Therefore, at this point we have a right angle, and through this line we have eight centimeters because the line through t to x will also be eight centimeters, and from t to y we will have the vertical height here, which is equivalent to six centimeters. Six centimeters. This is the angle that we need. Therefore, we can again use tangent. Tan theta equals to six out of eight. Tan theta equals to 6 out of 8, which means the value of theta will be given by the tan inverse of 6 over 8. This is going to be shift tan 6 out of 8. This gives us 36.87. So that is how we operate the end. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.